All right, so here's the former UFC strawweight champion, Ioana Janjacek. For a while there, as she dominated all of the top contenders, you wondered if there was ever going to be someone who could solve Janjacek at 115 pounds. Still, most believe she's the best striker in this division. She's one of the best strikers across all divisions in the UFC, regardless of gender. Very fast, very durable, very tough, but also Ioana Janjacek and her attitude is what I believe carries her to be most successful. She has this mentality that she believes she is just the absolute best in this division, and you saw it when she was on that long championship reign. And she has been someone who's really maximized some big pay-per-view showcases. She was on the Ronda Rousey Holly Holm card at UFC 193, fought alongside Conor McGregor at UFC 205. She has the it factor and then some. You'll want a champion is back tonight. Joanna Yelchichek has stepped inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Fight fans were excited when she signed with the UFC, especially those who followed her career in the kickboxing world. And certainly looks like a good addition here for the UFC in this division. Well, she's fun. She definitely does bring excitement. She's one of those athletes that you cannot take your eyes off of. And because of the way she fights, her fight style is really, really good. The way that she attacks with that aggressive style, looking to take your head off is why people tune in. And she walks in the octagon and look at her face. She's so confident yeah. that she's going to get the job done tonight. She's not Keith Peterson, but she's kind of no-nonsense. I was yeah. a little bit intimidated when she walked into the fighter meeting. She is on a business trip, and we'll see if it is a successful one here in a matter of moments. Tonight's tale of the day. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC strawweight champion, Yorana Yachechev. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Myra Chikara. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. Let's do it. All right, we're back at Etihad Arena in Abu Dhabi. As many of you know, this has become a very special building and destination for UFC athletes. Back in the day, it was Fight Island. Now it's just Abu Dhabi, but special nonetheless. And we expect a lot of high-level action inside that octagon here today. All right, so the Muay Thai Marauder, Ioana Janjicek, off to a pretty good start here tonight with her hands, DC. She's got great hands. She's so fast and she's so tall that she throws her punches in combination. But don't be surprised if behind this beautiful jab in this one, too, that Ioana throws, you don't get caught with a leg kick on the way out. Oh, my goodness. Great job getting to her position, right into that single collar. Big elbow there, Lance. Some more output at least in the world again. Nice one, two there. Both fighters still in the heat now. Oh, nice takedown defense. Now we get some space as she separates from her opponent. She lands a nice leg kick here. Oh, big overhand. Show me some. Show me some. Let those hands go. 
Lands a nice leg kick. Another one. She got that single collar tie. Well, they don't let you wear headgear, but she don't need it tonight, right? Beautiful job of that. She's doing a great job of blocking up top. Nothing of any substance has landed to this point. Work up to your feet now, boys. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Nice pass. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Guillaume Jaichek. That's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the position. Nicely done. All right, nice transition into full guard. If you're the top fighter, where do you go from here? Try to posture up, get some big ground and pound off, which will lead to you passing the half guard. Well, we talked a lot about her flexibility off the top, and she's got rubber guard now. She's got rubber guard. She has options for finishes, but they're very rare submissions that we don't see very often in the UFC. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments. Going for an arm bar now. Ooh, she's got the arm isolated. She is moving to her finishing position. She is so aware on the ground, and she escapes a deep submission attempt. Stay tight, stay tight. Oh, effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Yeon Jaichek. Nice shot lands from the block. Under a minute now to go in the round. Beautiful job reversing the position there. Outstanding grappling battle, and now back to the feet. Huge response from the crowd. We'll see who has the advantage here. Big response from the crowd. They appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and it's exactly what they just got between these two young women. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, nice, nice. Big shot to the body. There's another one. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? And now some knees. Oh. That horn sounds oh. means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two here. Oh, left hook. Oh, she found the target again. Oh! Oh, she hurt her back. Oh! Oh, beautiful hook for her there. Just misses there with the left. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. there it got checked she 
got that single collar tie. Yeon you know, Jacek's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Nice right hand there from Joanna Yeon Jacek. She's got that look in her eye tonight. That'll scare a lot of men, never mind women. I mean, the boogie woman, right? I'm Doesn't she call you. herself the boogie woman? She's the boogie woman that's coming for you. And you see that she's back in that state that allowed her to become the longest ranked strawweight champion in the UFC. All right, so her calf now starts. Oh, what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out, but her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. She's looking to land that right punch just out of range. Nice. Nicely done. Three minutes now to go in this one. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Beautiful right hand over the top. It won't take many of those. Yeah. You know, Jacek going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Straight right hand, but she misses. Well, she's a huge shot by her there. Probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and pump. That's a powerful strike from bottom position. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! She's nasty in the ground and pound, and now she has her opponent cut. Oh, it looked like she got that one home. Another nice strike with the ground and pound. A lot of consistency in her ground and pound striking now. Side control now. What a submission attempt by this grappler. That dark choke is tight. Oh, she's working hard for the submission now. Oh, yeah, she's in her position, John. Oh, she got out. How good is that? Oh, you heard the crowd pop after that grueling ground battle. The athletes make their way back to the feet. The athletes are up, and they need to take in the admiration. The crowd is appreciating. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh! That was a big check. So I think if I was a pro fighter, I might be a leg kicker, man. I mean, this weapon has changed the game, and she's looking pretty bad. She's looking very bad. I mean, when you talk about fighters, they want to be stone cold. They don't want to just—they don't want you to see anything. So for her to be reacting the way that she is, it tells. Oh! She's wobbling bad, J.A. Oh, no, big no. leg. No. Ten minutes no, no. in the camp. No. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, back to the stool she goes. We'll see if they can close up that cut, and it's a pretty big one she's dealing with on her cheek. It's a nasty cut on her cheek, but it's in a better spot. It's not blood leaking into her eye. It's more pain now because every time she gets hit in it, it's going to hurt. She's got to be a little better on the defensive side of things. Ready to fight. Ready. Third Good. round underway. All right, so as this round gets underway, let's see if the high-level action continues. Both women had their moments in that previous round. Now we'll see if there's more aggression, and we'll see if one fighter can really take control.
Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Trying to establish that jab once again. Single leg takedown is good. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Oh, the hard ground and pound strike lands, and that has caused some swelling or so, it appears. Oh, look at her now, setting up with a submission. What a submission attempt. She's getting close about a second with that triangle. She did a great job of getting her legs up past the arms. Now she's got to lock her feet, pull the head down, and she'll get the finish. Great submission defense on full work, display work, work, by the opponent. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. All right, so her submission attempt is denied yet again. She's going to keep going for it, but the defense has held up every step of the way. That's well, she, she has to. She has to keep going for it. Because if she wants a chance, she's got to keep trying to throw up submissions. Unfortunately, she is trying to submit one of the best grapplers in the division. Three minutes to go. All right, so another nice sequence for her there. You've talked a lot about her fight IQ, but this is pretty simple, right? You batter your opponent upstairs. She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Look for her to start trying to slide that arm under the neck to finish the fight with a choke. Nice job by her with the kick there. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Oh, what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike now. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Left and right hand. Two minutes here to go in round three. Those punches to the body are really starting to take a toll. All right, so it looks as though, yes, she's starting to deal with some swelling now, so defensively got to figure out a way to shore things up. She's tough, John. We know that she's tough. We've always known that she's tough. But we, she, what she has to do is she has to be a little bit more active in her defenses if she doesn't want to get all beat up. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stunned, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, your opponent's back in the fight and can potentially wrap. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter that she hurt her before. She doesn't have to close the door if she gets her hurt again. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. 45 seconds remain in the round. so swollen now you've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured orbital all right so again she shoots for another takedown here and once again the takedown defense holds up great job by this young lady defending takedown she was aware of what she was going to see in the fight and she was very well prepared great job blocking that shot back and forth we go to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. 
cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cutman in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Man, it looks like you could slide a half dollar right into that gash on her cheek. Better to be there than above the eye, but not a great look either way. Absolutely, and just a visual of that cut at the end of the fight is not a good thing. She was a little bit lax in her defense, and she's ultimately paying for it. You ready to fight? You ready. Good. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so the previous two rounds, pretty entertaining, DC. We'll see who has the upper hand here as this next round gets in. Very evenly matched fight, and we knew exactly this when they were matched up. We were excited about the fight. We kind of expected this to be very even between these two talented fighters. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike landing. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, ringside position, and stop the fight. The takedown is not there. Right kick to the body is there. Nice work by Gion Jaichek. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. All right, so the narrative remains the same. She is just wearing it upstairs. Somewhere there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, that left hand has been the oh. oh, that was lightning fast that right in. Oh, big move. Oh, on the feet. Yo, know, Jack Jack's oh, my goodness. Back to the feet now. Nice display of technique by her there. Nice straight. That's good defense to block that punch. Oh! All right, pausing the action here. And yes, the referee will call on the doctor. Her eye is essentially swollen shut at this point. It's closed. She cannot see. She cannot find her opponent. How do you fight when you can't see out of one eye? Well, the eye is not completely closed. Looks like the doctor is going to allow this fight to continue, at least for now. Crowd certainly appreciates that decision. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so the referee is going to get the action back underway. She didn't even want the doctor to make his way into the octagon. He has since left, and she's happy to get a chance right to fight away. off. Right away, John. Just, no, 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 I want to fight. I'm happy she's getting that opportunity. Now, you got to take advantage of this chance. you got to take advantage of the chance to go out there and try to right what you think would be wrong if the fight got stopped. Oh, bleeding out, nasty cut on the bridge of her nose. End this fight, end it. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's gotta go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, left hook. Oh, she ate another calf kick there. I'm not even sure she has the ability to check at this point. She doesn't even have the, the ability. She's lost. Right now, she has been thoroughly confused by how her opponent is landing this kick over and over again. Unbelievable. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is the very tense moment for her opponent. She's got the arm triangle locked in. But she's got to do now with the oh, great submission defense. The young Jacek's cheek is just pouring blood. I can't see her jawbone yet, but that gash is absolutely disgusting. 
She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transition. Man, she's got it all going with the hands, with the feet tonight, and that cut is really becoming a factor now as this fight continues. Yes, yeah, she's got to move, Jay. She's got to get on her bicycle. She's got to get to the middle of the round so that the cut man can get to work. Because the more she's in there, the more she tries to fight face first, the more that cut is going to open up. She's got to get moving. Nice job by her there. The bottom fighter continuing to slip these ground and pound offerings. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Great slip. Even though her opponent's throwing, she's not finding much success. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Young Jacek's cut has really opened up now, folks. I don't necessarily have to tell you that watching at home. Huh. Looks like you could stick a quarter in there, and I'm not sure how much longer this fight is going to continue. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. Well, she's dealing with a pretty big cut now. We'll see if we can isolate exactly where it happened in that previous round. Man, she took way too many shots in round one. She was not being responsible defensively, and ultimately she is paying for it because now she's having a real tough time dealing with that cut. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Big shot to the head. Straight punch is good. Oh. Exactly what she did. What a performance. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 35 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Joanna Yejejan. All right, so you heard it there from Bruce Buffer. Joanna Yejejan, your winner tonight by knockout. You know, this young lady is so talented and so skilled in her ability to find finishes second to none, she gets the big knockout victory and shows once again why she's one of the greatest female fighters of all time. Nice job by Buff on the pronunciation, too. He's the man. But a better job by Joanna Yeonjai. Check your winner tonight.